Hey there, gang. So this is what happens when you fly overseas and you uh, copy a bunch of movies over to your hard drive, and one of those is an old black and white French language with English subtitles movie called Algiers. And uh, it's a very uh, interesting old movie. And it kind of inspired me to come back to Kim Kanga's design, which I had not owned previously, but I'd heard lots of good things about it, and I thought it would be appropriate to obtain a copy. <clears throat> so I guess you could call this a shrink rib, but I'm just going to have a quick look at the components. And it's I, I purchased it punched, and uh, looks like my buddy Rory uh, uses uh, the toenail clipper method of clipping his counters, which is fine. Yeah, he has... Uh, Clip them all for us. Some of them are a little egregious, but like that guy there, look at that guy. It's like, oh no, you gave me a haircut. Can you see that? <laughs> anyway, that is neither here nor there. So you've got a nice box with the uh, great, uh, uh, showing you the counters and the map on the back, explanation of what the game's about, uh, puts it into the medium complexity and medium to high for solitaire suitability. And I, one of the things I hope to do going forward when I do uh, my playthroughs of games and, and have a little comments or wrap-up section at the end is, is trying to highlight if I don't like a game or if I do like a game, uh, I guess, uh, or just kind of let you know what I think about it from the perspective of it being a two-player game and playing it solitaire. A lot of the time I find that I'm looking at games and I, I have a negative reaction to them because really what's required is an opponent. And I think that's one of the things we also look for as a, as a wargaming community. If we don't have a lot of people we can play with, uh, we want to know if a game really is uh, best suited played opposed versus uh, being okay to play solo. Anyway, so I shall endeavor to do that on a more frequent basis. Rule book, black and white, pretty straightforward. Fairly dense set of rules, lots of uh, paragraph-based uh, commentary uh, for the rules in general. Uh, so it does use a case system, but uh, you know it's fairly meaty. And if it's anything like uh, the DM Ben Fu game, it's probably going to have some interpretation be required. The map is, I will say, at first glance, the map is very attractive. Not real thrilled about the quality of the paper or the thickness of the paper, so it's kind of it's got that kind of shiny, thin feel to it. But the ink on the creases is sticking to it good, which is a problem with one game company. I forget who is pushing them out right now. Uh, the creases, where the creases are, as you unfold the game uh, for the very first time, you're seeing that the ink is worn away on the creases. I can't imagine what it would be like if you actually get around to playing the game a couple of times. So you've got this, uh, basically what, uh, you know, these hex-based hex system uh, regions and linkages, I guess, with roads. I haven't read the rules. I know nothing about this game. So uh, you're, you're looking at it first time just like I am. But you can see these hexes where uh, units can go into locations. And then there's cultivated land around. I'll try and use my shadow as the pointer stick. Uh, so I'm assuming we're moving from place to place, as the case may be, via road or whatever. Who knows? Don't know. Operations track point, set up charts, political uh, cells, troop density and support levels across the top there. I know that the light's terrible, but this is not a professional organization. It's just me. So game turn track down here, 55 through 62. Uh, so that looks all very, oops, all very cool and interesting and different. This is kind of a kind of a coin style uh, theme, but with uh, Kim's take on it. And then you've got some black and white charts. There's a player aid, two-sided player aid, political points charts for each side. <coughs> uh, no idea what this is. Looks like it was put in at the last minute. Or maybe this is something that someone added in that doesn't look like production. Quality, that's it, guys. So anyway, we'll have a look at that. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but uh, I have a fairly long list of things that need to be kind of run through over the next few months, and I'm not sure that this is going to make it to the table in the near future. But stay tuned. More to come.